हेलो पीपल इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस लुक एट एम ई एन मेन और मल्टीपल एंडोक्राइन न्यूक्लेसिया सो मल्टीपल एंडोक्राइन न्यूक्लेसिया मीन्स दिस पीपल हैव न्यूक्लेसिया इन मल्टीपल एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड नॉट वन एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड मल्टीपल एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड दे हैव न्यूक्लेसिया सो दिस इज अनफॉर्चुनेटली डोमिनेंट ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट सिंड्रोम सो लुक एट दिस मेन वन मीन्स दे हैव सम पिट्यूट्री अडीनोमा पैराथाइरॉइड हाइपरप्लेसिया pancreatic tumor etc so multiple uh, endocrine glands are affected men to mean something else is affected men to be mean something is affected else is affected right so do you understand so these are the men conditions there are four men okay men one is called as vermers syndrome then you have men to okay in that again you have 2a 2b etc then men three you have oh men three is nothing but 2b and then you have men four okay so only four men thank god and 2 uh, b is nothing but 3 okay so Uh, what do you see here? There is hyperplasia and formation of adenomas or malignant tumors in multiple glands. So there can be adenoma. Adenoma sounds like a benign condition, or there can be malignant tumors in multiple glands. So these people are not like okay, you have some uh, bone cancer or some leukemia or something, something. But these people will have multiple conditions. That so that's what is annoying, right? Not just one; they'll have multiple conditions, and they can also have some other uh, genetic diseases like uh, pheochromocytoma. uh von hippel lindau syndrome etc neurofibromatosis they can have multiple things other genetic issues they can have okay now let us look at this um so why does this happen they are saying right it is dominant and there is some mutation inactivating mutation okay a tumor suppressor is uh, mutated looks like then they are talking about ret proto onco gene etc mutation again a lot of things guys you just write all this okay now anyways we will go to these conditions and understand what and all will be there let's look at uh, men 1 men 1 what will be there are you focusing guys let's look at men 1 now so we have to write something in the exam right about men if they ask about uh, this uh, multiple endocrine neoplasia so you will talk about this vermers syndrome so what and all will be there in these people we already told you pituitary tumor will be there and then um, uh, para hyper parathyroidism we told you then pancreatic something they said yes pancreatic neo endocrine tumor okay these three are there other than that they are telling about thyma thymic bronchial carcinoids adrenal tumors cutaneous lesions cutaneous lesions what and all they'll have lipoma cholangioma angiofibroma okay now let us go to men2 okay people uh, let's look at men2 men2 doesn't have any special name oh it has men 2a is called as sipples syndrome so here you have what did they show in the photo do you remember let's check the photo first then it will be easy to remember uh, men2 they said parathyroid so they left the pituitary pituitary they left so parathyroid and thyroid and then pheochromocytoma okay so let us look at this uh, so pheochromocytoma is of the adrenal gland isn't it So now let us look at men two, also called as Sipple syndrome. Sipple syndrome, hyperparathyroidism, medullary carcinoma of thyroid, pheochromocytoma. Yes, we saw the photo. Now we can remember easily. There's no pituitary in this. Pheochromocytoma has been added instead of the pancreas, and something thyroid was not there um, uh, in that. So uh, uh, both of them have something in common. What is that? Men one and men two a have something in common. That is parathyroid hyperplasia. Yes, yes, very good. Parathyroid hyperplasia is very common in both. Okay, but the other things, thyroid and uh, adrenal part, pheochromocytoma here, pituitary and pancreatic. Will you be able to remember, people? Okay, parathyroid is common in these two. Now let us go to men two b. Men two b. Are you ready to go to men two b? Yes. Men two b. What is common between men two a? Look at that. So medullary thyroid carcinoma and pheochromocytoma. These two are common. Okay, in uh, men two a and two b. What is different here? Mucosal neuromas and morphinoid body habitus. Okay, so parathyroid doesn't have I mean issue here in two b. So two b is also called as men three. So um, so there'll be medullary thyroid cancer and pheochromocytoma. Same thing they said. Morphinoid habitus. Then they'll have multiple mucosal neuroma. Yes, these two we saw. 
in the photo multiple mucosal neuromas and morphonoid habitus okay other than this yes telling some skeletal abnormalities abnormal dental enamel etc can be there okay now men4 now let's go to men4 for which there is no diagram that uh, they have given uh, so now let us look at men4 men4 again has hyper parathyroidism same thing see men3 had missed this hyper parathyroidism now it's back again pituitary is back again possible tumors of adrenal kidney reproductive organs pancreas this is so much similar to men1 then men1 also had hyper parathyroidism pituitary pancreas same thing right apart from that they have a lot of other issues with adrenal reproductive organ kidney bronchial cervical neuroendocrine tumors okay so this is all about men if you write this much you will get lot of marks right so if uh, somebody comes with one thing you have to check the others you have to check for the mutations right you have to check other genetic conditions do they have all that you will do now you have understood uh, men1 men2 a men2 b men1 is called as some uh, what what is the name w something come on say the name uh, uh, vermer vermer very good vermer w this one is vermer vermer and uh, men2 a is sipple right s i p p L E very good simple and men two B is nothing but three and men four was nothing uh, similar very similar to one itself pituitary adenoma parathyroid hyperplasia pancreatic along with a uh, along with it, everything will be there that becomes men three okay men four so we are done with uh, multiple endocrine neoplasia now how do you treat these people so based on the mutation they are doing prophylactic thyroidectomy etc okay. So that is what they are talking about the treatment. Now let us understand the treatment. You have to look for the mutation. That and all you will do. They are doing some prophylactic thyroidectomy for people who have this red mutation. Just always look for other conditions. Okay, uh, like von Hippel, Lindau, Zollinger, Ellison. So just look for other conditions that. Can be there in these people, okay? Especially with pheochromocytoma, von Hippel, Lindau. That is, uh, tumors in multiple places. There be tumors, okay? So, linger elicit gastric acid uh, hypersecretion. So, in this video, you have understood men multiple endocrine neoplasia. It's dominant. So, basically, uh, people won't have uh, one uh, tumor. They'll have multiple uh, neoplasms in their body in the endocrine glands. Okay. So, you have men one, men two a, men two b, and men uh, four also, because two b is nothing but three. Okay. So, uh, we have understood this multiple endocrine neoplasia. Bye bye.